There's a lump right here, right above the belly button, a little lump uh, formed there. And then I was like, and I didn't know what to do, so I just. No, uh, no, I, I, no, no, no. Don't say you pushed it back in. So I pushed it back in. Uh, uh. Hey, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Flashback with Smosh. Ian, um, Ian is sleeping, I think. Are you, he's, the moment you get Ian in a neck brace, he uh, he realizes that he doesn't have to actually. Play. Oh, hello, flashback with Smosh. Anyway, we're we're talking about the top ten injuries that we've sustained. Yeah, so while hey, working here, welcome to the top ten. <laughs> I must have sustained a head injury um, prior to this video, but yeah, that is why we're all bandaged up. This is our top ten injuries. Uh, in all of our Smosh career. Yeah, the past 18 years of Smosh videos, well, technically, it's been 18 years, but it's uh, I've only been around for 12 of those years. Where's Anthony? Somewhere Anthony's out there, I'm gonna go find him. Maybe one day, if we try really hard. Anthony will come back? <laughs> so let's get into our top 10 injuries of Smosh. Let's get into our top 10 injuries of Smosh. Number 10. Number 10. Um, but this is um, my my neck brace from Olivia is a bully. And how did you get this injury? I think we were filming every elevator ever. Yeah, that was a video that we what did. The f yeah, look, we were scraping, we thought we were scraping <laughs> the bottom of the barrel, but we had many more years of every blank ever after that. But uh, surprisingly, there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, relatable things that happen in an elevator. Anyway, there was a scene where we were like freaking out or something, and I was like, Wah! and I was like shaking all over, and I and I think that was the first time ever that I like threw my neck out, and then I woke up the next day and I was like, oh, and we had to film another video. It was this video about Olivia being bully at work. Yeah, we just like changed the script so that I had a neck brace on. Cause that's that, how much it was hurting? And that's, and it's because she like beat me up. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. So, so it actually worked out great. So that's when you realized that you kind of like wearing a neck brace. Yeah. The moment we put that neck brace on you, you were like, oh, this is comfy. Yeah, cause I kind of maybe threw my neck out last week. Again? Uh, doing la 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 in, in a Smosh sketch. Was that from a news? Yeah. Oh shit. Cause it was like, you know, like whenever you do the scene where you're convulsing from getting <laughs> shot a bunch of times, like it's intense. You know, being 35, I should have limbered up, stretched beforehand. We gotta do prep now when we do stunts. Like <laughs> we gotta like stretch and, and limber up first now. Otherwise like injuries could happen. And it, I'm, I'm getting better now, you know? That's why you gotta do but, neck, neck push ups like me. Get a big, thick, yeah, thick, strong neck. I only do push-ups. Yeah, so. That's your problem, man. Yeah, that's my yeah. problem. Um, so yeah, I I put this on, I'm like, ooh, this feels good. Like I like I like that my my neck's immobilized, so I can't can't cause any pain. I can go <laughs> and I'm fine. Yeah. All right, let's go to the next clip. Let's go to number nine. Number nine. Burger King foot lettuce. All right. Oh, okay. Do you, would you like to introduce this one? Yeah, so this is the time that we thought it would be a good idea to put me in the driver's seat of a manual transmission vehicle. My and car. Ian's car, and have me jerk forward just a tiny bit with one of our actors who ended up, be, who was our producer at the time, Ryan Todd, he was playing our Stevie character. Mm -hmm. The joke was that I, inch forward, mm -hmm. I was just supposed to go like a foot, yep. and then he was supposed to act like he got hit. Yep. But um, see, there is one issue with putting me behind the wheel of a manual transmission vehicle, and that's I don't know how to drive a manual transmission vehicle. Yeah. So when it lurched forward, yep. it went two yeah. feet? Because you, you stalled the car. It was in first gear, you let the clutch out too fast. Mm -hmm. And so like when that happens, the car will go like, <laughs> It like jumped forward and Ryan was in front of the car and you nearly broke his goddamn leg <laughs> off. Uh, I, I remember asking before and I was like, you feel good about this? He's like, yeah, it's just a foot. What's, it's not that, it's fine, right? And I was like, yeah. 
Okay. You got We're good. Lucky. You got lucky. Like he kind of, I think he kind of like jumped a little bit. Yeah. He like did. when you, because I think if you, if he didn't jump, then his leg could have got like caught like underneath. It could have been bad. And that wasn't even, I don't think that was even, were we recording? Here, let's see what we got. Here's here's what we yeah. ended up recording on camera. I, we used the actual clip and then we used CG to like okay, fly his man. body off. You could do this, just push in the clutch, put it in reverse, and... <laughs> Here, let me go back a little bit. Oh, I missed oh. that car. I, I, that, I lost that car to a car accident. That was not my fault. So here, here's the moment. <laughs> I'm supposed to be lurching forward just a tiny bit while looking backwards. And the, the I wish we would have found a way to include it in the behind the scenes or something, but you, it's just out of frame. You can't even see it. It was there. Yeah. It was there. It wasn't this shot. It was the other shot. Wait. Is that his, was that the moment? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Look at him. This is so, this is awesome. <laughs> Oh, wait. That was definitely you stalling the car right there. Yeah. And then, okay, so that's our real. Was that the the moment I hit his knee? No. So I think I think that no 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 no. So I think you hit him in that last shot. It does move though. It does move. But it looks like. It... <laughs> <laughs> no. It looks oh, like gosh. it didn't hit that hard. I don't know. Hard. How did we do this? I wonder if someone pushed it from the back. No, that's uphill. That'd be a hard push. Yeah, so I think you actually moved it. And then he just like, <laughs> this is such a great, this is actually like pretty decent, like, yeah, oh my God. That looks so silly. <laughs> okay, but okay, either way, at one point there, I slammed into his knee. Yeah. And I remember it got super swollen. He fell into the garage there. It got super swollen and, uh, I was really scared that I like totally messed up his knee and I thought that he wasn't gonna be able to walk again. Yeah. I mean, you could see like, cause this, like that sound of like the wheel chirping was real. Oh yeah. 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 I mean, you could see how fast this thing like lurched forward. It wasn't like, this shot though. Just judging by like you getting launched. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was real. I think, I think we almost included it in the bloopers, <laughs> yeah. but then, I think Ryan was like, ah, don't bother including it in there. Yeah, probably for legal reasons. Yeah, we're uh, far enough past it now. Yeah, yeah, Different yeah. company. Yeah, uh, was it Statue of Limitations? Yeah, yeah, we now we can talk about it. Now can't sue us for, for attempted murder. <laughs> um, so I think in this one, actually, uh, to make this look right, he started on, on the hood, then you moved forward and he Jump back. Like jumped back. But That's so much trust that he put into me after hurting yeah. his knee to do that again. Yeah. When I did not even know how to, <laughs> that shot is insane. But like. Oh, well, this is my favorite right here. Like, that what frame? What is that? That doesn't even look like a human body. They even added the shadow on the bottom. Is that green screen? I think that was green screen. I think we threw up a green screen behind him and had him like jump up in the air and then really? we just moved it there. I guess it does kind of look like there's some like, there's uh, some green, green artifacting on the bounce, edges. yeah. Yeah. Wow, I'm actually impressed. No, that shot looks really good. Damn. So yeah, the time that we almost killed slash permanently injured slash paralyzed slash maimed our producer. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Let's get to the next injury. Number eight. Let's do this one. I can't see, what does it say? It says a delicious smoothie. You're going down. Oh! Yup. Oh, there's a blooper, extra bloopy moment. Let's just oh, okay. see it. Let's just see it. You're going down. Oh! <laughs> Sorry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know how to react I like, until you I like, how, I like how it was like it seemed like serious at first. I was like. Okay, my eye works. Okay, that's funny. Yeah, like, I didn't know how to react until you laughed. Yeah, it was not gonna be funny if, <laughs> if I opened up my eye and I had no vision. It's just pure red. <laughs> so in this scene, I had just, uh, I just finished staring at the sun and the joke was that I was apparently blinded by the sun, but for some reason, when I put these glasses on, I really just had my eyes shut. Even though you couldn't tell. That what the hell? Seriously? I know. That's why I. That's why I poked you in the eyeball because I had my eyes. 
Bro, come on. <laughs> Continuity, You're bro. An actor. Bro, what if you see from the side that my eye was open? You can't forget the, the whole thing's blocked. Well, I was thinking ahead. Also, do you think that people that are the visually impaired keep their eyes closed? I, I needed to be in the moment, Anthony? in the scene. I needed to know how it was to not have vision, and I couldn't be seeing at the same time. It's called method acting, Ian. No. Yeah, if I also put rocks into my shoes for the next If method acting, scene. you would keep your eyes open and just pretend like you were visually impaired. That's called pretending. That's not called method acting. I also put rocks in my shoes for the next scene. <laughs> You're making a Daniel Day Lewis my left foot <laughs> reference. The glasses. It's from the eye poke, right? The reason you wear glasses now? It's it's to protect myself from your your fingers. Yeah, for when I'm method Getting acting. Getting your grubby little fingers in my eye. It's not my fault. I'm such yeah. a good man. Or maybe it was injury sustained and, and my vision hasn't been the same since. Your cornea. Are there any injuries you're willing to get for content? Um, injuries that we're willing to get for content. Um, um, uh, paper cuts. Right here. Right between the fingies. Yeah, if you ever want to scare somebody, just like be like, can I see your hand? And they're like, yeah. And then you pull out a piece of paper and start to go towards, everyone will run away. An injury that I would sustain, like maybe like getting kicked in the balls by like a celebrity or something. Oh, but it'd need to be a celebrity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it was like if it was like Sir Patrick Stewart kicking me in the balls, it'd be pretty Well, it fun. depends how hard, right? Because if your ball ruptures, that's a different story. Like I would not be willing to get ruptured balls. Yeah. Be but that's why I went to like Sir Patrick Stewart. That dude's old as f so, Right. Like, how, so you're hoping that he has how hard feeble, is he really feeble joints. Kick? Well, that was fun. That was a quick one. Maybe that one should have been number <laughs> number nine instead. I like how we have Stevie getting severely injured with his knee. Yeah. As lower than you getting poked in the eye. Because it was you. Well, Stevie was expendable. <laughs> yeah, so, it's Stevie. Yeah, it's Stevie. It's Stevie. Let's, Stevie's not even a real person. Uh, yeah, tell Ryan and Todd when you And when you get injured, when characters get injured, the real actor doesn't get injured. Have you seen Saving Private Ryan? None of those people actually died. IRL? IRL. Oh. Number seven, Ian's kidney stone. Yeah, so we don't really have a, a video of this, but we were filming. This was a scary time. I think that we literally didn't film because it was so scary. What do you mean? This was scary, dude. Can I tell you what my yeah. re uh, memory of this sure. moment was? So I forget what video we were filming. We're definitely at the Smosh House. We're at the Smosh House. Do you have any idea what video it was? No, no. Okay. That okay. day is a blur. <laughs> okay, so I remember there was like, you were you had been saying that you had some kind of like weird feeling and you're like, oh. In my back. Oh yeah, it was yeah. your back. You're like, oh, my back hurts. Oh, my back hurts. And I yeah. was like, that's weird. Like you don't typically have back pain. Um, and then you had complained that your back was really hurting all of a sudden. And I think that I was breaking, like, I don't know, I took a bathroom break or something. But I came out and production was halted. And I was like, where's Ian? And Ryan Todd, who plays Stevie, was like, oh, he had to, he had to, uh, he had to get taken to the hospital. He's being taken to the hospital. I was like, what? Yeah. So I so I run over to the front. I look out the window. <laughs> Did you catch me throwing up? So I see you standing in the street holding your back hunched over. Yeah. And then you just vomit in the middle of the yeah. street. Yeah. And I was like, what the f And then uh, <laughs> our PA at the time, Brad, he pulled up his truck next to yeah. you and you were just still there frozen. Like, I think that you vomited a second time too. Probably. And then you get in the car and you drive away with him and then I'm just standing there. All I see is you vomit twice, get in the car, and <laughs> leave. And then there, uh, there's yeah. just like this silence, this awkward <laughs> silence of just nothing there except vomit in the street. <laughs> left over. And I was yeah. like, what the f is going on? <clears throat> and then they took me to the hospital. Yeah, what happened once like, you got there? I don't think I even got like the recap. They saw that I was like really pale. <laughs> and and then they, they put me into like triage. So I skipped like emergency. I was like, I was waiting in the room for like a little while. And, and they saw how like, up I was and then they put me in the triage and gave me some gave me some good stuff. Did they know that it was kidney stones right away? They well they thought it was either like kidney stones or I was like a drug addict trying to get like painkillers. It hurt. Yeah it hurt. What about passing it? I you know I think it broke up before I passed it because I don't remember that being too big of too big of a deal. Mm. 
Because I feel like that would be torture, just like passing something hard through. Yeah, I've heard. Too. I've heard that's. I've heard it's bad. It wasn't bad for me. Mm-hmm. Maybe I just got a loose hole. So. Yeah, it's from all those jelly beans that you put in there once. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen a picture of a kidney stone? Mm. It is the most frightening. They're rough, right? Jagged. Jagged. So it's like just scraping the entire thing. Yeah. So that's why they get stuck in like the passages because mm. they are just this the most like horrific. Oh my God, that's so much more jagged than I remembered. Yeah. Like almost imagine like this jagged like crystal, like it, this giant jagged crystal yeah. that's trying to push its way through like a very small opening. Yeah. I did actually get them one other time. Oh, you had it again? Yeah, yeah. I, I started to feel it coming on. I started to feel the back pain. I was like, oh no. You mean you said, no. Yeah, yeah. I took an edible and went for a really long walk. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of going to the hospital, you took an edible and went for a walk? Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> and it worked. What? Yeah. Where did you get that advice? I just came up with it. <laughs> I thought, you know, like, let's, because, you know, like, well, I dr- drink, drink a lot of water, kill some of the pain, sure. and get active. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I don't know, man. That's not medical advice. Don't, don't take an edible and go on a long walk. Like. But the thing is, like, there's not a whole lot that hospitals will often. They'll like, just give you painkiller, right? They can, like, if it's big enough, they can, like, break it up. How do they break it up? With, like, um... It's like sonar or like uh, ultrasound or something. Uh, I imagine the urethra out and the hammer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bong. So, uh, yeah, but if it's not, they'll just be like, uh, like here's some like Percocet and you'll pass it eventually. Yeah. I, I was like, okay, let's see if I can just solve this at home first. Nice. You did. Kidney stones, you ain't got nothing on me. By the way, this show is sponsored by BetterHelp. This time of year, can get kind of wild, so it's only natural for people to feel a little overwhelmed and stressed out. I am one of those people. When the holidays come around, since I don't see my family a ton throughout the year, I put so much pressure on myself to show up and show everyone how much I care about them and miss them. I just put so much pressure on myself to be the perfect person, and therapy has helped me realize that it's not about that. It's about just, just me showing up and showing everyone that I love them is enough. I know it's such a simple concept, but therapy has really helped me realize that. I've been a huge proponent of therapy since I started going about six years ago, right after I left Smosh, and therapy helped me in ways I never thought it would. Like, it gave me the ability to feel empathy for my younger self and therefore understand who I am today better. So if you've been thinking about starting therapy, BetterHelp might be perfect for you. It's 100% online and designed to work around your schedule. All you have to do is fill out a brief questionnaire and you'll be matched with a certified and licensed therapist. Plus, you can switch therapists at any time for no additional cost. Find your bright spot this season with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com smosh for 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P, dot com slash smosh. Now, back to flashback. Let's go, number six. Ian getting waterboarded. Engage in your favorite summertime activities like swimming lessons. Yay. You're swimming, Billy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's check out the bloopers. Okay. <laughs> How, How is, that? is that? Is it terrible? Well, I can't breathe in. <laughs> Don't do this at home, kids, seriously. No. <laughs> you just got tortured. You got waterboarded. The worst part of the torture is you get swimmers here. <laughs> you get water in your ear? Yeah. I hope this video wasn't too dark for It was for pretty you guys. dark. We decided on these creepy like children's drawings like the la- at the last second. Yeah, so go back to the main video if you liked camp in a van. Yeah. Click like. Alright. Bye guys. Bye. Well. Cheers. It's funny, you made it seem like it wasn't that bad of an experience, but I remember on the set. Scary. It was super scary. It's scary, man. Yeah. It's like, well, I mean, look, we've all been waterboarded from time <laughs> to time. It's like you're drowning. Aaron, have you been waterboarded? No. Do you want to? I'm okay. Do you want to try? Aaron didn't to... even know what Guantanamo Bay was. That's true. Not the same thing. Uh, but you getting waterboarded in Guantanamo Bay is it's like, like the, I wouldn't the... know. It's like drinking a mai tai in Hawaii. Yeah, they just go, hand, just in go hand. hand in hand. I wouldn't know. 
Yeah. Uh, I brought this clip up last minute because I remember the fear that you had of what it was going to be like to get waterboarded. Yeah, so this is a torture technique. Yes. A literal torture technique. It's just a real torture technique. Is, is it because it makes you feel like you're drowning the whole time, but it doesn't actually drown you? Yeah. Did it feel like that? Yeah. Yeah, it's scary. Is it because it like it suctions makes you to your panic mouth? Because yeah, you can't, you can't like breathe through it, and you're like sucking in some water. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Anthony looked pretty excited to waterboard you in that clip. Anthony, yeah, look, look how look how happy Anthony is. About yeah, that. I was. <laughs> I was pre I was pretty excited to waterboard you. I was more excited that it wasn't me. Sure. Yeah, we had to prop my head up head up to be more comfortable. Wow. Because co it's all about comfort when it comes to getting waterboarded. Waterboarding. Yeah, you don't want to be uncomfortable when you're getting waterboarded. This video is insane because we also strapped Ian to the top of the van and put yeah. a horse mask on him and drove yeah. around with it. <laughs> like and sped down an alleyway. Yeah, and you were really up there with no protective gear. I don't think nope. that we could get away with that now because... Zoe would not allow it. No, the health risks is, were just too immense. Also, there's definitely like a... like. This is in Sacramento. There's definitely a police car that drove by. When you were they on the roof. Yeah, when I was on the roof, they probably saw us and they didn't do They didn't anything. do anything. They're, They're like, like, oh, it's a guy strapped kids. to the top of a van with a with a horse mask on. That's fine. Yeah. They're like, ah, oh, these kids. This video is insane because we also start a fire in the van. <laughs> But the most f***ed up parts were you getting waterboarded and then you strapped to the roof. And the also like the whole like gist of like you bringing children into a white van. Moving on, shall but we? But check out Noah. Actually, I remember Noah's character is really funny. No, Noah's so. super into Do it. Do we got, maybe, maybe we'll cover camp in a van at some point. Let us know below if you want camp in a van. It's a pretty funny we'll video. We'll deep dive into that one. It's a pretty funny one. All right, yeah. let's see the next one, number five. Anthony's hernia and Smosh the movie. <laughs> Spoiler alert, I got a hernia. I'll let you know when. Right there, it was somewhere around dude, there, I dude. I don't even think it made it in the movie. I don't think it made it in the cut. You either. got injured for nothing, bruh. For a Smosh the movie. Hey, it was worth it for Smosh the movie, especially. The, okay, the worst part about this is that the injury still affects me to this day. Yeah, like there's not too many things you could do about it. So I'll anything. explain what happened. So. I'm supposed to be bent over. A guy jumps on my back, who is your stunt double, grabs yep. my back and pulls me back really fast. And I'm supposed to pull forward really fast. So I get pulled back with a hundred something pounds of force, and then I have to pull forward. And yeah. the the stunt coordinator did not teach me how to properly do that. So for some reason, that pressure all went straight to like right in between my abs, and I yeah. felt something pop as I went forward. Ugh. And I immediately was like, oh. Something popped in my abdomen, so I pulled. I put my fingers down between my abs, and there is a lump. There is a lump right here, right above the belly button. A little lump uh, formed there, and then I was like, and I didn't know what to do, so I just no, uh, no, I, no, I, no, no, no. Don't say you pushed it back in. So I pushed it back in. Uh, uh. And the trick to pushing a hernia back Stop. in. Stop, God, what? Is you flex the abs no. while you push. No. The hernia back in. What? Is that real? <laughs> it's what works for me. I don't know. I didn't go to, to uh, herni push hernia back in. How your hernia popped out? So it pops out probably once every two or three weeks. Oh, what? Yeah, but it's not too much. It's just like a slight... It doesn't... Okay, so I think it's healed. Can you show everyone your hernia? Can you pop it out for us? You can't pop it out on purpose. Everybody pop your hernia like this. <laughs> okay, but I'll show you. It's right above the belly button area right here. And sometimes if I like do a certain thing where I pull up like this enough and my skin is like tight enough, you could kind of see a little bump right here. And it's just like constant scar tissue. There's scar tissue that's formed right here. Oh, no, it's kind of there right now. Stop Wait. it. Stop. Can you zoom in? No, no. Because I think if I pull the skin tight enough, you can no, kind of no, see no, it. No, 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 we don't, we don't, we don't. There's scar don't, tissue that's formed don't, right here. We don't have to see, we don't have to see. And you kind of push it back in a little bit. But, um, yeah, so that still affects me to this day. And every once in a while, if I push my body in a certain way, I got to push it right back in. Ugh. Yeah, that wasn't fun. I, uh, I went to a doctor, and I was like, what is this? I think it's a hernia. And immediately when the doctor saw me, they're like, yep, that's a hernia. And I was like, cool, so what do I, how do I get that fixed? And they're like, you don't. I was like, what do you mean you don't? And they're like, well, 
So the thing is, if we want to fix this, we're going to have to do surgery, open your skin, push it put back in. in and put a mesh over it. And they're like, there's going to always be scar tissue there. And the mesh is going to be weak because it's weaker than your real skin tissue. Okay. So you have a higher risk of just injuring yourself again if you do that. And they said that they only recommend doing that if you have like a full blown hernia. My hernia was like a weird thing where it's like a few layers got weak and it like a little protrusion happened, but it wasn't a full rip open with a full intestine coming out. Oh. It was just a little thing there. It was just like a little, just like just, popping it was, out it was his like, teeth. It's like a little, it's like just the tip. Oh. But like it, it doesn't really fully penetrate through. Just the tip of your intestine. Just just a little nub of it. God. But Tim, there's Tim's over here dying. <laughs> <laughs> so there's still the thing is like there's still layers of flesh there. It's not just skin and then and then the intestine. It's like skin, then some layers, what? then the intestine. I'm gonna make sure some of this is censored. <laughs> it's too f***ing gross. No, but I was like, what the. F over Smosh the fucking movie, I have a permanent injury. I was told that I should never lift weights again. I was told that, like, all these different things about things that I should never do again. Yeah. I still did, but I had to learn how to hold my abs. Yeah. Because you can't push the pressure out, you have to push the pressure in. Yeah. Look, man, we sacrifice for this country. This country. People, like, we, you know, people should really be thanking us for our service. That's right. I expect you, when you pledge allegiance to the flag, to pledge allegiance to, to the hernia. Mm. Bruh. So here's, here's one that's just as brutal as a hernia. <laughs> um, Number four, Ian knees himself. So this is a very early Smosh video. This is probably one of our first injuries. This was a branded video, and it was just the scene where we're supposed to be like stretching for like the this like competition, and I'm like going to the, <laughs> <laughs> and I just quit play it, play, say, it, play it. Hi, I'm Dale Thomas, and I'm Tom Dalson. Welcome to the first annual speed, agility, and jumping prowess competition. Here it comes. For sure, right? And oh, right there. yep. You really hit yourself in the nose. And it looks like we definitely added. Uh, we added a loud hit sound because you couldn't hear it. That one. You could definitely was, see the connection. That was close. Wait, was that the hit? No, I yeah. thought it was the other foot. No, that was. No, oh, it's, no it's right here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't think you realize how limber you actually were. I had no clue. <laughs> and it's just definitely like, oh! <laughs> like, <laughs> but I don't know why we put that higher or closer to number one than my hernia because you got over that quick. That doesn't affect you to this day. I mean, like, I, you touched, were close. I touched my nose there. You knew you were I getting close. I touched my nose there. Yeah. Like, I feel like I even, like, maybe tapped it there. Yeah, and then you didn't and then anticipate it, like, this. threw me off, and then I just went, <laughs> okay, here's the issue. So in this in this first knee, um, I mostly just pushed my leg up. Yeah. But I thrusted my entire <laughs> upper body towards my <laughs> knee. Donk! <laughs> The best part is I didn't even know it happened. I'm just doing my thing. Do you think you can make your knee touch your nose like that? All right. Have you become you decrepit this? in your old age? I believe in you. Oh! I did it. Touch my nose. Oh. Yeah. No. I can do it. Left leg. Okay. Left leg. Oh, you can still do it. Wow. Even with the neck brace. Wow. You can come at me, yogis. Wow. 12 years, years and you're still, you still got it. Still got it in me. <laughs> I got that flexible dog in me. Oh, um, what's going on with my hair here? What's wrong with it, bro? This is like, the this is the famous signature Ian Hecox hair. All right. All right, let's moving on. Moving on. Number, Number three. three. Anthony's fake jackass moment in Washington's video blog. So this one was probably the first injury. This was my first real injury. Let's check it out. See if you could spot where he gets Hi, messed I'm the heck George up. Washington, and this is Jackass. I mean, we we're just asking to get hurt. Oh, <laughs> that was it. Well, there it was. That was it. 
I don't know watch. why I didn't anticipate this. We, we, you know, this is just proof that we didn't take enough physics classes. Because I throw <laughs> your body. I launch that thing. <laughs> Whoop. And then your Slam. Head, head snaps And there back. was a, yeah, there was like a bounce. And I immediately was like, oh, that's not going to be good. <laughs> that's not going to be, we cut away from it, but that was just legit. Slam. I was seeing stars after that one. My head was throbbing. I thought that I might have a concussion, but I actually never got checked, so I don't know if I did. But, <laughs> but it was really bad. Oh, uh, uh, it was really bad. I yeah, saw stars for a Yeah, while. I remember we were worried about you. Yeah. <laughs> we were actually like legitimately thought you were really hurt. Yeah, I think I think we stopped down for just like five minutes, but I just I was like, we'll just keep pushing through, I guess. Yeah. Wait, what is the worst injury that you sustained in real life, like outside the of videos? Worst injury like ever? outside of videos. Um, I fractured my wrist snowboarding. I remember um, that. I remember yeah. signing your cast. Yeah, that wasn't that wasn't very fun. That was your right hand too. It was my right hand and I was We've been over this. It was, <laughs> it was my right hand and I was 15, so it was a pretty terrible time for me, if you know what I mean. Yeah, you had to learn how to be ambidextrous. I did. I did. It wasn't as good. It was like a stranger's hand. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's how it works. Hey, look, it still worked, but I'm just saying. Yeah, I got I, my cast off. I was like, good to, never mind. Let's not talk. <laughs> Let's not talk about me whacking anymore. I don't even put that image into people's minds, you know? Um, you did You did do an episode where you got slapped by... A, oh, wait, did you get slapped or just people slap you? No, you slapped them. I slapped them. Oh, you wouldn't get slapped? No, they you tried. They tried. You wouldn't take a slapping? Nah. Why would you take a slapping? Because, like, because, like, I'm their boss and I know that they're going to take their anger <laughs> out on me. And Only if you've been a bad boss. Well. <laughs> well. Yeah, no, I don't really want to do guests who slap me. I think I, I was. We were saying earlier, like I think we've gone through all the people that were down to get slapped. Mm -hmm. I'm down to slap people, but you're not down to get slapped in return. Kind of fucked up. Kind of fucked up. Are you down to get slapped? Um, no. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I may. I might be down to get slapped. Really? I have to yeah. turn. <laughs> I have to turn my whole body. I might be down to get slapped if it was like avoid the nose piercings. Cause that would that would f me up. Oh, well why don't you just take the piercings out beforehand? You can't just take out the piercings that easily and then put them back in. What? It's not, you don't just do that. You keep them in and you don't touch them. That, is that real? Yeah. Yeah. You, you thought you just swapped them out, like you can't take a nose piercing out. It'll close up. Not on your. How fast does it freaking close up? Is it just like? Whoop? I mean, see, I got some thick cartilage in my nose, so I, I I've you had. Don't have cartilage out here. What is it then? That's just skin, bruh. I don't know if that's true. No, there's there's no car there's no cartilage in here, right? Isn't it just isn't it just in here? This is cartilage. Like I don't know. Oh this, no, that maybe that is just skin. No, you're right, because cartilage is yeah, kind of like cartilage is this stuff. Okay. Cartilage is the soft bone. Okay. This is this is just skin. Well, either way, whatever that shit is on my nostril, it's so thick that my nose hasn't <laughs> it's never fully healed even though I've had it pierced for four years. Jeez, what? Yeah. That doesn't sound safe. This video is also sponsored by us. Yeah, because I am very dead. Yeah, if you saw Food Battle, you saw Anthony die. And because of that, we're gonna roast him to death. I guess apparently I need to uh, roast in peace. Roast in peace, Is that right? biatch. So we are doing the biggest live ticketed event we've ever done. The biggest ever! We're taking the funeral roast and we're blowing it up, baby. Yeah. We got all sorts of surprises. We got a halftime show. That's right. We got, we we got, got surprise these, guests. I hear The Chosen's gonna be there. I'm gonna be there. And you'll get a chance to roast me yourself through Angela who is playing The Vessel. And you can get your tickets at smosh.rip. And it's happening on Friday, December 8th, 2023. That's coming right up. You gotta get your tickets now because they're going fast.
And if you get the VIP ticket, you get access to the VIP after show where you can hang out with us, hang out with the guests, ask some questions, maybe dabble in a little roasting directly with me. So get your tickets now, smosh.rip, December 8th. It's coming up. Get your tickets now. Ah! Let's go to number two. Number two, Anthony and YouTube Rewind, severed thumb. For, for all you kids out there, YouTube would do this thing called YouTube Rewind. Back in our day. Um, and this was YouTube Rewind 2015. This was before the famous, ah! Yeah, it was yeah. before that. This was the 10th YouTube Rewind, so I think they did, what? or sorry, this was the 10th year of YouTube existing. Oh, okay. So in this YouTube Rewind, they celebrated all of YouTube's history. Oh. oh. So that's why they made a I'm on a boat reference, which came out multiple years prior, if I remember correctly. Had it? Yeah. Oh, on a boat oh okay, I okay. Yeah. So, so they were celebrating on a boat, which had come out six years before that. So um, it was a mashup of all things big on YouTube, and then they would get the the biggest creators to recreate that scene yeah or and, something. and other and other scenes so yeah. we were we we did I'm on a boat with Tyler Oakley mhm mm they yeah. they uh put us in these suits these top hats they put us on like the front of this little boat boat and they had us actually standing on they the edge of it they drove us out into the ocean they drove us out into the ocean which if you watch the scene <laughs> there was absolutely no reason why this needed to be in the ocean no there's no context to it being in the ocean no this was like a really ridiculous production oversight. We're supposed to clink champagne glasses. They gave us glass champagne glasses. Yeah, and they kept telling us to hit them harder. Yeah, they're like, we clink them, and they'd be like, we well, really want to see like the, like the champagne like fly out of it. So can you can you hit them harder? Yeah, this was like on the fifth take, and they said harder, harder, harder. So here's what they got. Here's what they got. So you see, I. Slam, because it's slow motion, so you can't see how fast, but I slam my glass into his. <laughs> Mine shatters, the stem of the glass flies towards Anthony's hand. By the way, you can't tell how deep we are in the ocean here, but we were out in the middle of nowhere. Couldn't even see land. So. All right, so Tyler's spraying thing. Here's as hard as we got it. Oh, there's the glass oh, so breaking. Yours, yours shatters. Mine shatters. And I think it's just right. your glass pushes into the yep. uh, yes. the other glass shards. Yeah. So yep. all those delicious glass shards go flying in it. Yep, and I'm yeah. scooping up because it's one motion. <laughs> I'm surprised they use this, man, because it's just proof that I got and up. And here's here's the injury photo. So you you cut your finger. There was a medic that yeah, was that was, was on, set, on set and, and he was like putting bandages on and it just kept bleeding. Yeah. And he was like, he was like, I think you might be okay. And then when we got to the shore, he was like, it was still bleeding. He's like, all right, yeah, you're gonna have to get stitches. Yeah, this photo on the left here is what it initially looked like. A lot of blood, but that's what it looked like. So it didn't look like it was that big of a deal. So they wrapped it up with uh, the third image. So they wrapped it up and then I came back to him. I was like, this still really hurts and it's still dripping blood. So then they took it off. They're like, oh yeah, that looks messed up. And then they wrapped it up uh, super, super big, which you can see here on the far right. That looks so funny. Like absolutely comically large. What the heck? It's like when you're a cartoon and you, <laughs> an anvil falls on your thumb. It's like dun, 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 dun. Yeah, so they, they wrapped it up comically large like that. And then they, so they, they brought me to the nearest uh, ER. And then, uh, yeah, they brought me in. They took it off. They're like, yeah, that needs to, that, it doesn't look that bad, but it needs to be stitched up. So yeah, no anesthesia or anything. They just took uh three stitches to it and it was it was rough it was really rough um and the weird part about this is that it wasn't just that injury that ended up causing me harm because i was stupid and i tried weightlifting like three weeks later and my with your hernia <laughs> like, oh, oh i had a oh, wait oh, oh, yeah i had a hernia at that point too <laughs> but i tried weightlifting after that and I was like, oh, I'll do this this kind of a thing because it's not putting too much pressure on the and thumb. And you like ripped the stitch? No, it didn't fuck up the stitch because the stitches were healed then. I wasn't stupid enough to weight lift with the stitches still. Oh, okay. But my, um, because I wasn't using that, that I didn't want to use that part of my thumb still. And because my wrist, I hadn't been using that hand much, it was way weak. So it, it messed up the 
Oh, the, the, tendon? the tendons that go all the way up the wrist mm. right here. And then I dealt with that new injury for like a year after that. So that was fun. Folks, just wait till your stuff heals before. Three weeks is not enough time. Weightlifting. <laughs> yeah. Let's go on to the last and final injury that we'll ever have on a Smosh video ever again. Never gonna get injured ever again. And this is one that many of you probably know about. <laughs> Number right. one. Number one. My broken ass nose. Yeah, this so, is fun because we captured it all on camera. This is what inspired us to, to do a, an episode all about this. Here it is. Yeah. Did it actually hit you? Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. In the face. I literally felt my nose crack sideways. Did I break it? And then I moved it back in oh. the other direction. At least it looks realistic. Oh. It was perfect for the scene. It's a little off there it's still. still. It's still a little crooked. So the crazy thing is, and that's real blood. Uh, Wait, really? Yes. That wasn't for the scene? No, that was I'm fairly certain that was real blood. Oh my God, I thought that was for the scene. No, because did you have any blood on you? Yeah, my nipples. Oh, your nipples. <laughs> my nipples were bleeding. No, my, my... <laughs> <laughs> you, wait, did you not? The best part is I was like, oh, oops, I hit you, but my nipples are bleeding. <laughs> 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 See, I have fake blood there too, so I don't know if that's, wait. Oh, it... and you have, you have a little blood, but maybe one side was real and one side, I don't remember, but wait, like. Wait, played, I kind of want to know. I remember I did bleed. Oh, like, what if, I guess. Yeah, you had it there. Did everyone react that way because they were supposed to or because they could tell something was wrong? I think they could tell something was wrong. Because <laughs> I, I fell down and I didn't get back up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I got really quiet. The funny thing is, like, you, it doesn't even, we didn't even actually use this take no. For the video, because it didn't not look the right as, take. it didn't look as real didn't as agree. the fake takes, because it's just like it all happens so fast. It doesn't look like you even make contact. Yeah, but you do. I do. So yeah. the thing is with this, <laughs> <laughs> I'm so into Isn't the it kind of a funny like reaction photo. The thing with this scene is that when we were setting it up, you know, I was practicing with my right hand. I did have blood. On you my did nose. have blood on your nose. Okay, weird. I could have um, sworn I bled a little. You probably bit. did bleed some more, but we were we were doing choreography for this scene, and I was practicing with my right hand, and then I was told actually no, use your left hand because that's going to look better for the scene. Mm. And apparently my depth perception slash coordination is not as good with my left arm, and thus that is why the hand to nose contact occurred. And it was at that moment he realized he fed up. True. True. My nose cracked sideways. Did I break it? And then I moved it back in oh. the other direction. Did you pop it in it immediately? Like, yeah, because it felt weird. And then you like... It, yeah. Oh, it's like, kind of like me with my hernia, you just know. Yeah, well, yeah, it was like wrong. So I was just like, oh! And then I moved it and you could see it's like still looks concave. Yeah, it's still going a little yeah. bit to the and left too. So I got home that night and my dog Daisy jumped up and whapped me in the face with her paw. And I swear she corrected it. <laughs> Cause it's still like, messed up for cause sure. I, yeah, cause I didn't touch it after that. She was like, and she like got me in the face with her paw. And I was like, oh God. And then I looked in the mirror <laughs> to like, cause I was looking in the mirror before and I was like, I don't know, like it looks maybe a little crooked. I thought you were gonna have to go get it. But adjusted. I couldn't swell, if, I couldn't tell if it was swelling or not. Yeah. And then, and then Daisy hit me in the face and I looked in the mirror and I was like, I think that looks better. Damn, I think, yeah. we, I think we need to honor Daisy. honor Daisy. We need to dedicate this episode to this, Daisy. This episode is dedicated to Daisy for being a real one. Real one, correcting that nose. You almost had the Owen Wilson career, though. You almost did. I know. I know. Yeah, it could have got you places, man. Yeah, could have got me in a, in a Wes Anderson movie. True. But Daisy. Yeah. Damn. Well. There, that's it, right? That's it. Goodbye.
So that's that's all the injuries that we've that we've sustained so far. Uh, please don't say so far. I don't so need far. another hernia. That was traumatic. You know, hopefully we don't get injured anymore. Yeah. I, I don't think we will. I think we're you know we're much more careful. Yeah. Although I did just do like a stunt where I like fell backwards with a microwave in my hands. Yeah, but you were like prepped for that one. I don't know. I just I only have one abdominal wall to penetrate. And so I don't. Do I. I I don't want to, to happen again. I only got one. Yeah. You got, you still have a perfectly good one to penetrate. That sounds weird. <laughs> People out there, don't penetrate your abdomens. The only hole that should be in your abdomen is that little belly button. Trust me, I've learned the hard way. It's not fun. Don't make cheap movies. Don't make Maybe movies. Maybe that's the moral Just don't story. make movies and you won't get hernias. That's the only place where people get hernias. This has been a blast of a trip down, down memory lane on, on all our onset injuries. But if you guys have any other ideas for special episodes where we can do I think we talked about, maybe we'll do one like dedicated to, to Ian's mom. Maybe we'll maybe. do one dedicated to, to Stevie, maybe. Maybe we'll do one dedicated to Stevie. Yeah. So if there's any sort of like special episodes where we're covering like a topic maybe, yeah. uh, we're gonna continue to do full breakdowns of specific videos, uh, but it's fun to do these like different ones uh, from team to team. Yeah, and if you wanna see more of us getting into uh, the behind the scenes and making of, of our most current new classic style Smosh sketches that we're making on this channel, Smosh Royalty tier will get you access to watch a live watch party hosted by Ian and I, where we completely break down every element of each new sketch as they come out. And uh, Smosh Royalty and Smosh Tastic, whenever we cover a full episode of this flashback, if it had a BTS episode, we're gonna release that to y'all. Bonus content for y'all. We'll see you guys uh, in two weeks for another flashback. Next week is a new Smosh video. Woo! Hey -oh, hey -oh. That's right. And we'll still be scouring the, the Smosh members only Discord to, to, to take a look at all those flashback with Smosh theme songs that I see you all cooking up. Yay. Well, thanks. Thanks, everyone. And we'll see you later. Bye. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. My labia.